These are some of the grooming tools that you might use um, for your Tibetan Mastiff. This first one is a rake. And um, I sometimes use that on storm during shedding season to help, you know, loosen up that undercoat. He has uh, quite a difficult undercoat to, to get brushed out. But he's not particularly fond of it, and I don't use it a lot. This next brush is an interesting brush. Um, it is actually a horse brush, and it's called a Tangler Wrangler, or Tangle Wrangler. And um, I picked that up at Tractor Supply Company. Um, it it's pretty good for combing out the undercoat, and it's fairly inexpensive. Um, the dogs seem to be happy with it, and um, I have used that in the past. The next thing is a flea comb, and we keep that around just to make sure we can check out, make sure we're not having any flea problems. This next brush is a pin brush, and this is actually my preferred brush to comb out the undercoat, to do that initial combing out of the undercoat, and to, um, brush out the tail and uh, feathers, especially the bridges. After I use that pin brush on the undercoat, I use a comb to uh, get what the pin brush did not get and make sure that undercoat is combed out really well. Then I follow up with a natural bristle brush that helps distribute the oils throughout um, the coat. This is Andy, the Tibetan Mastiff. He's two years old, and he is shedding. He's losing his winter coat. And I um, thought this was a good opportunity to be able to show you how that undercoat works, since he is shedding. And I like to do my grooming on the floor. It's a good bonding time with the dogs, and they get treats. And grooming's relaxing for me, so it's, a, it's happiness for both of us. Okay, so you can see that I can even pull some of this out. And what I do is I start with my pin brush. Yes, buddy. And I pull the hair up and bring it down. Now, if his guard here seems to be matted, then I'm going to brush that first. I'm going to go through here with the pin brush. Push the hair up. You want to do this all over. It's a good boy. Now, if you notice, if you just do this kind of brushing, not much happens. You got to get in under that undercoat. You want to do this in the winter time too, is keep them brushed out because if the undercoat gets all snarly and matted, then it's not giving them good insulation. And in the summertime, it also keeps them cool if you keep it brushed out. About once a week. And Andy has a pretty easy coat to brush, even though he has longer guard hair. It's pretty easy to keep brushed out. Storm is not so easy. So I started with the pin brush, and now I'm going to go with my comb. He's a good boy. Yep. He's a good boy. We'll give you a few over there. And I'm going to get go back over what I did with the pin brush. And you see, I'll see I'm getting more out. He's a good boy. To get that more hair. Now, really, back here on his hip is uh, I'd like to show you. Go get him, good boy. This 
start in here. With a pin brush. Good boy. I got quite a bit, bit with that. And I'm coming back with the comb. And then I got all this. Good boy. It's important to do the, the undercoat. Then I'll go back with my um, natural bristle brush. Same thing, underneath. This helps spread the oils around in the coat. Use that natural bristle brush to spread the oils around. <laughs> and you can go over the top too with it. Just a good dog. Okay. okay, I just want to show you what um, I do with the hair on the tail. Andy has uh, a lot of feathering, long feathering on his tail. And uh, what I do is I start at the end, end of the tail, end of the hairs. And then go up. Start at the ends. And then work up. Kitsy wants to join us. Start at the ends. And then work up. If you run into a snake. Just go back to the end. End of the hairs and work up. Then you can get that. Once you get that, the longer hairs brushed out, then you can start getting in that undercoat that's on the tail. A lot of people will use um, some kind of a conditioner. I do if, if things seem to be pretty tangled up. It does help protect the hair, but if you're starting at the ends and, and working up, you're not as likely to break it. <laughs> 